의학상입니다. 유전자를 통해 생명체는 진화를 거듭해왔다. 19세기 다윈과 멘델에서 시작된 유전자 탐구는 20세기 들어 염색체와 DNA 이중나선 구조의 비밀을 하나씩 풀었다. 이후 수많은 과학자들의 끊임없는 노력은 마침내 유전자 가위 기술이라는 놀라운 혁신에 이르게 된다. 유전자 가위 기술은 편집을 하고자 하는 DNA의 특정 부위에 조작된 인공 제한 효소가 달라붙어서 특정한 DNA 구간을 잘라내고 잘린 구간이 수리되는 과정 중 원하는 DNA 조각을 더하거나 빼는 원리이다. 키스정 박사는 크리스퍼 카스 유전자 가위 기술을 통해 동물의 배아 유전자를 편집하고 편집된 유전자가 다음 세대로 전해지는 것을 최초로 입증하였다. 또한 그는 유전자 편집 과정에서 원치 않는 부위까지 잘리는 문제를 최초로 확인하고 이를 실제 세포에서 찾아내는 기술도 개발하였다. 더 나아가 이러한 문제의 빈도를 줄일 수 있는 새로운 버전의 크리스퍼 카스 기술을 개발해 유전자 가위 기술의 발전과 안정성 향상에 크게 기여하였다. 키스정 박사의 연구 결과는 유전 질병을 가진 환자의 치료뿐만 아니라 생물학, 농학, 공학 등 다양한 영역으로 응용될 수 있는 가능성을 열어놓았다. Well, I think, you know, Keith Jung is part of a large uh, field now that is developing genome editing applications across the biological fields of medicine, diagnostics, agriculture, and synthetic biology. So it's a quite an extraordinary time. And um, Dr. Jung's developments of particular tools for assessing genome editing accuracy, I would say, are uh, very important as that field develops. 유전자 가위 기술의 혁신가 키스정 박사 그의 연구를 통해 인류를 위한 DNA 편집 기술은 더욱 정교하고 안전하게 될 것이다. Thank you, MC So. Uh, my remarks today will be in English because, unfortunately, I do not speak Korean. Uh, I thank all of you in advance for your understanding of that. Thank you first to the Hoam Foundation and to the individuals who nominated me for this award. Um, I'm incredibly honored to be receiving the Samsung Hoam Prize in Medicine. I first started doing biomedical research nearly 37 years ago, and anything that I may have accomplished during that time would certainly not have been possible without the contributions and support provided by so many people. Therefore, I first want to express my gratitude to all of these individuals. However, because there are so many to acknowledge, I hope everyone will understand that I cannot thank all of them, nor can I do justice to what each person has meant to me in the few short minutes I have here. First, I want to start by thanking all of my lab members, current and previous. I've had the privilege of working with many incredibly talented and creative individuals over the past 20 years. I'm grateful to all of you for your hard work and contributions to the work of the Jung Lab, which is being recognized by this award. 
I'm also greatly appreciative for all of our lab's numerous collaborators who have expanded the scope of the science that we work on, including work cited by the HOAM Prize Selection Committee. I'm thankful for all my wonderful colleagues at the Massachusetts General Hospital, where the Jung Lab has been based since 2001. I've been fortunate to have had many great mentors, including Professor Ann Hochschild, Dr. Carl Pabo, and Drs. David Lewis and Robert Colvin, the current and former chairs of MGH Pathology. I also want to mention my late friend, Dr. Robert Berghoff, who taught me how to do molecular biology, and also how the frequent failures in science could actually be fun if you turn them into puzzles to be solved rather than roadblocks to be frustrated by. On the personal side, I want to recognize several close and dear friends who have always been sources of joy, fun, and support to me. In particular, Andrew Hirsch, Arthur Sawyer, and Joe Pearlberg. I want to thank my late father-in-law, Bak Jongjin, or CJ Park as he was known in America, for his encouragement and support for my academic career, going back even to the early days when I was just a graduate student. My sister, Midi, who could not attend today, and my brother, Ken, who is here today, with whom I grew up together as part of our tight-knit family in the US. Both of them have always been there for me, providing their unwavering love and support. My daughter, who also could not be here today, who changed my life in so many amazing ways that I could never have foreseen. I've appreciated your love and understanding, even though you had to put up with, as you said when you were only five years old, a dad who went to work every day. And my wife, Minnie, who is here with me today, my partner in everything for the past 29 years. I'm so thankful for your unconditional love, constant encouragement, and unflagging support for me. Finally, I want to express my gratitude for and to tell you a little bit about my amazing parents. Both of them are remarkable individuals who accomplished far more than whatever I have done, but more importantly, they loved their children, supported us all unconditionally, and inspired us by the example of how they lived their lives. My late father, John Gisup, grew up with very little, often going hungry as a child. Despite losing his father when he was only nine years old, my father somehow had the strength and will to earn a scholarship to study in the US, arriving in 1954 as an 18-year-old with only $150 and a suitcase of clothes and books. He went on to get his PhD in engineering and an MBA and to have a successful career as a business executive in the US. My mother, Ham Youngjo, graduated as the valedictorian of her high school class and came to the US in 1956, also when she was just 18 years old, also on a scholarship. This was at a time when women weren't encouraged to pursue such a pathway. She started her PhD as well, but then ultimately decided to set aside her ambitions of becoming a scientist and instead focused on raising a family while having a career as a pharmacist. I so very much wish that both my mother and my father could have been here today, but unfortunately my father passed away a couple years ago and my mother wasn't able to make the trip. I know though that this would have been a meaningful ceremony for them and that they both would have enjoyed attending, but my mother and I are grateful that my brother Ken and Professor Zhang Yungum, a close friend of my parents, are both able to attend the ceremony today. I'd like to close by noting that we live in an exciting time of very rapid progress in biology and medicine. And I look forward to continuing to work with my lab members and our collaborators to advance gene editing and epigenetic editing technologies that we hope will lead to new and better therapies for patients. Thank you again for recognizing our work with this award.